Hi, good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And tell me, how was your day? Mm, more or less. Okay. And you? It was excellent. Thanks for asking. I had classes in the afternoon and that was really nice for me because I wasn't at home, at least for, for hours. Very good. Yes. Okay, and what did we need? Sorry, Nelsie. Good evening. Yes. Hi, good evening. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, if you remember yesterday, we finished working on section one. So today we will study or we will start with section two. Um, yes. In section two, basically you'll see that we are making a review of the simple past tense. And I need you to tell me how many verbs do you know in English? How many irregular verbs you know? Drive. 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 And what is the past Drive. tense? Draw. Okay. Draw. Dream. Uh -huh. And what is the simple past tense? Uh, drunk. No. No. For drink? Yes, drunk. Drunk. Run, run, run. Uh, run, run. Uh, don't remember the other verbs. Okay. It's basically the same. Run, run, run. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Okay, yes. So I'm just asking you regular verbs because that's something that we are going to be studying. So let's begin. The first one that you're going to see most of the English list we have is the verb be. What is the simple past of the verb be? Did. No, verb be. Was and were. Uh, ah, okay, is. excellent. What? Or where? Perfect. That's where. And the past participle to that verb. So it said be. And you told me was, where. And what is the past participle? Been. Been. Excellent. So let me think in another one. Break. Break. Okay. Rock. Broken. Excellent. And the past participle? Broken. 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 Perfect. Uh, let's see another one. Eat. At. At. Eat. Eat. Ah, okay. And the past participle? Eaten. Eaten. Excellent. Eaten. How about um, get? What? What? Hi, and the other one? Okay, okay perfect. Um, let me see. Fly. Fly? Fly. Fly. Flew. Flew. Okay, flew. Long. Excellent. Okay, um, let's see another one. An easy one. Let me think. Um, yeah, freeze. No, I said yes, but... Yeah. Ready and broke. 
Uh -huh. Frozen. And the past participle is the name of a movie. Frozen. Excellent. Frozen. Okay, so we have C. So. Okay. And the past participle? Things. Perfect. Um, let's see another one. Ah, I need. Good. 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 Perfect. Okay. It's easy. Easy, right? The same like this, right? What is the past tense for that verb? Good. Good. And? Good. So I have the following. Do. Do does. Do does. 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 If. Did. 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 Down. Down. Like this? Yes. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Be careful with pronunciation, okay? So we have do, did, done. We have the following. Oops, sorry. Ya le di la respuesta. Give. Give. Gay. Aha. And the past participle? Given. 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 Uh, okay. Given. Perfect. Um, let me see. Right. Wrote. Wrote. Writing. Oh, writing. Roll. Right. Written. Written. Okay. Written. Writing. Writing. Is, uh, writing. Yes. No, no it's written. Pronunciation. Written is the pronunciation. Okay. Yes, Spoken. the pronunciation. Sorry. Uh, so we have the verb write, wrote, written. Okay. Great. Yes. Okay, then we have speak, spoke, spoken, spoken. Spoken. Perfect. Um, let's see. Quiero ver qué tan atentos están. I have one. Wanted. Aha. Wanted. Hola, Jocelyn. Wanted. Okay, and is that regular or irregular? Regular. Why is regular. it regular? Because finish in AD. ED? Okay, because ED? we only need an ED. Excellent, we only add ED. So how about this? Play. 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 And? Play. Late. 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 Okay, well, this one. Study. 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 Like this? No. 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 E. 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 I. Ah, I. Thank you. I. Yes, and we have studied. Okay, excellent. So I can see that you know irregular verbs. That's perfect. So an applause for all of you. Applause para todos. That's excellent. I really like it. Okay, so we were making this review because, as I mentioned, uh, we are going to start studying simple past. And in order to do that, we are going to begin with the conversation that we have on the platform, okay? And let me see where is it, here is it, okay? That it is called, just give me a few seconds. Did you do anything special? So let's listen and then we are going to be practicing, okay? Si no escuchan, me avisan, por favor. Hi to all, welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. 
I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. How about you? Did you go? Oops, sorry. So we were here. Okay. So here we have this short conversation. Hi to all. Welcome to anything special. Okay. I'm going to need two volunteers. So let's see, volunteers. Me. Thank you, Janet. Me. Okay, oh. thank you, Edwin. So let's begin. Okay. So what did you like with Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Lucky's? Lucky's. No, we didn't. We went to we went to that new place downtown. How about you? How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go to anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home. I study for today's Spanish test. Test. Our Spanish te test in today's. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an I A. Okay. Thank you. So, Janet and Edwin, choose two different people, please. Um. Giselle. Okay, Giselle and? Um, Stephanie. Okay, Giselle and Stephanie. Let's begin, please. Okay. Okay. So what did you do last weekend, Matt? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke and sang with some friends and on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucas? Lucas? Lucky? No, we Lucky's? No, we didn't. Uh, we went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekends. I just stayed home and studied for today a Spanish test. Or Spanish says is today I forgot I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, excellent. And two more people, please. Just two people. Uh, Esperanza. Okay. Um Monica. Esperanza and Monica. So, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, continue, Veronica. So, what did you, did you, la, so what did you do? That's quick and make. Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with 
some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to look it? No, we didn't. We went to a new place downtown. How about you? Did you go did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get get up. Get a. get an A. Okay, thank you. So now that we have read this conversation, tell me how many irregular verbs do we have and which are they? Went. Sang. Okay, so we have went, sang, what else? Forgot. Did. Okay, did. did. Forgot. Sang. Uh -huh. Had. Had, okay. When? Stay. Stay. Is it regular or irregular? Regular. It's regular. Regular. Ah, okay. So we have one regular there. What else? Uh, sound. Forgot. Yeah. Went. Forgot. Okay. Went. So you said had, went, sang. Uh, you said also did. Um, you said forgot. Did. Yes. Teacher. Uh huh. Is también did. Um, no. Okay, pero en qué parte de la conversación? Or is this is an auxiliar? Let me check. Okay, in this case. So what did you do last weekend? Okay, what did you do last weekend? Ahí el did está actuando como auxiliar. El yeah. verbo principal oh. es... Okay, what did you do? Oh, do in this case. Yes. Okay. okay. So, how about regular verbs? How many regular verbs do we have? Stay. Okay, we have okay. stay and... Do. Study. 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 Okay. Are those the only regular verbs that we have? Oh, no, no, no. Solamente esos dos verbos regulares tenemos? Stay. Okay, sí, el name. Stay. Study. Okay, yes, those are the only ones that we have. Son los únicos que tenemos. Okay. And teacher. Yes. And get? No. No, no, no. No, Sorry. get is irregular. Irregular. Yes. Sorry. Sí, aquí, o sea, le dice, no te preocupes, siempre obtienes una O. Siempre sacas 10, por ejemplo. Ok. Y acá está en presente, no está en pasado. Ok. So tell me, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hicieron ustedes el fin de semana pasado? Sleep. And how do you say words work every uh, weekend and in the morning at the night? I like. So you work the whole weekend? Trabajo todo el fin de semana. Oh my god. The home weekend. Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't I don't I don't have life. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have a, an own life. That's so sad. Qué triste. Bueno, I know that because I've been in the same situation when I worked uh from Monday to Sunday. I used to work from Monday to Sunday and I remember that my schedule was from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m. Trabajaba de lunes a domingo de 6 a 8, ¿verdad? O sea, no tenía ni vida social, no sabía lo que era eso. So, it was really hard, believe me. Really, really hard. But... Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, but the, the uh, probably advantage that you have is that you have money, right? Lo único bueno es que tienen dinero. 
but <laughs> that's the only good thing about working a lot. Okay. okay. Yeah, so tell me, Edwin, what did you do last weekend? Mm. On Saturday, I played the soccer and at night. And Sunday, I watched TV. For example, uh, 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 my favorite TV show. Okay, thank you. How about you, Abigail? What did you do last weekend? Um, on Saturday, I have homework. And Sunday, I visit my grandmother. Visit or visit it? Visit it. Okay, excellent. How about you, Janet? What did you do last weekend? Um, I went to see you, my parents. To see you or to see? See. Jews. To see my parents. Okay. Excellent. How about you, Saul? What did you do last weekend? Saul? Okay, so Lily, how about you? Okay, um, on Saturdays in the morning, I studied English. And in the night, at I night, went, at night, I went, um, I no sé cómo explicar a un evento que hubo allá en, en el. Ay, está en el rodonal de la chulona. Ok. No sé cómo tratando, explicar eso. Yo tratando de ubicarme cuál es el rodonal de la chulona. Eh, la Constitución. Constitución. Ah. De donde la Constitución. Constitución. Ok. So you went to an event. Yes. Ok. And on Sunday, nothing. Eh, nothing. Ok. Excellent, thank you. How about you, Esperanza? I was a housewife. What did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo el fin de semana pasado? In the last weekend, I was cooking. I, I... was cleaning the house. Okay. I, I was... Um, Take the baby. You took care of the baby? Yes. Ah, okay. Only. Okay, thank you. How about you, Giselle? Um, Saturday, um, I studied. Uh, um, on Sunday, I went to the supermarket with my mom. You went to the supermarket? Okay. Excellent. Este, How about... Yo tengo una duda. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, para... Eh, bueno, en la, prim, en la primer evento que, que yo realicé el sábado, dije, I studied. O también pude haber dicho, I did study. No. Si no. estamos hablando en pasado, eh, vamos a usar el verbo en pasado. Ok. Si es un verbo que me denota acción Pero o movimiento. Pero si usar... Ok, y el auxiliar, entonces ahí no, no. En oraciones afirmativas, no. A menos que me diga, yo hice mi tarea. I did my homework. Ahí sí, porque el did está funcionando como verbo. So let me just share this okay. with you right now. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Ok. Pero en ese caso no se puede utilizar el had. I have uh, my homework. Por Yo ejemplo, tuve mi tarea. Ah, had, sí es cierto, es el pasado de had. Sí. Mm. Si sí, en el caso que usted me diga, hice mi tarea, I did my homework. Okay. Or I did the laundry. Para los que lavaron ropa, I did the laundry. Uh -huh. Or I, let me remember. Okay. Work. Sorry. Work. Uh, I work. I work. I work uh, uh, in the, um, on the weekend. I work on, on the, the weekend. weekend. Okay. Okay. Um, the kitchen. I. Uh, the kitchen. Uh, I kitchen. Um. Sunday, Sunday, in the uh, afternoon, or in the yes, afternoon. Okay, so but what do you I mean? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? I kitchen. ¿Qué quiere decir con la cocina? Ah, uh, quería decir cocina. Yo cociné el domingo en la tarde. So the verb that ah, you're okay. going to use is cook. Cook. Porque kitchen es, es, es la parte de la casa, es decir, la cocina. Kitchen es cocina. Yes. So I cook es, es on Sunday. Si es que fue el domingo o el Sunday. sábado. Okay. okay. That's the way that we are going to be making affirmative statements. Okay. Esta es la manera en la que vamos a ir haciendo lo que son las oraciones afirmativas en pasado simple. I'm going to begin with a subject, then with a verb in simple past and the complement, ¿ok? Inicio con lo que es sujeto, el verbo en pasado simple más el complemento. So, I remember that Edwin said, Edwin played Great. soccer on Saturday, oops, sorry, Saturday night, ¿ok? Uh, Lily went to an event, or we can also say Lily had an event, es decir, que ella tuvo un evento, pero en el caso que ella dijo fue, so we have that she went to an event, okay, uh, let's see. ¿A quién más ya le había preguntado? Sorry, I'm really bad at to remembering. Me. To me. Okay. okay, and what did you say? Sorry. I I wash car. Wash de lavar. No, no, was was the pasado. I was. Car the baby. Ah, okay. Vaya. Si car yo es take. No, aquí sería I took care. Of, is that your baby? What? Es su bebé o? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. So I took care of my baby. <laughs> Cuidé a mi bebé. Mm. Took care of. Este es el verbo. Cuidar. Okay. Was y were is not going to be used here. Aquí no vamos a utilizar lo que es el was y el were. Porque estamos hablando de lo que son acciones. ¿Ok? Aquí estoy usando verbos que me indican acción o movimiento. Hice mi tarea. En este caso, lavé la ropa. Trabajé. Cociné. Jugué o jugó. Uh, fui o fue. Cuidé. ¿Ok? Estoy hablando de acciones en pasado. Um, let me see. Stephanie, how about you? Well, um, this Saturday, I visited my uncle. Visit or visited? Visited. Stephanie visited her? 
ankle. Okay. Um, let me see another one. Um, Jocelyn Larin, how about you? Uh, this, uh, on Saturday, I, I had uh, an English class. Okay, so we have the Jocelyn had an English class. Um, let me see. Douglas, how about you? I work late from uh, from Monday. On Monday? On Monday. So you worked late on Monday? Okay, thank you. Uh, Monica, how about you? I went to... I'm sorry, Monica, but you're getting cut off. Can you say that one more time? Um, okay, sorry, but I cannot hear you. I um, by any chance, did any one of you listen to her? Alguien le pudo entender o le escuchó? No. No. Sorry. Can you? Um, Sorry, Monica. Can you send your example to the chat we have here in Zoom? Okay. Thank you. And the last one, Walter, what did you do last weekend? Sorry. On Saturday, I went to dinner with some friends. I w you went? Yes. Or you had dinner? Oh, uh, I had dinner. You had dinner with? some friends. Okay, excellent. So you can see here that we have the examples of affirmative sentences in simple past tense. And we are using regular and irregular verbs. So let's see, Monica said that she went to Finca San Ernesto. Okay, excellent. <coughs> Perfect. So let me just complete here. So we have that Monica went to Finca San Ernesto to eat with her family. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, do you have questions about affirmative statements in simple past tense? Preguntas? No. Is everything clear? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to continue here with the following video. Okay. So we have the video about simple past tense. We're going to watch it and then we will continue working. Okay. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. 
will teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in Simple Past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, so you could see that there we have the video explaining the simple did. past tense. What did Rick do on Saturday? So, for example, we have here these questions. You can see we have yes, no questions and information questions. Tenemos tanto preguntas abiertas como cerradas. So, the yes, no questions that we have are the following. Did you work on Saturday? Did you go anywhere last weekend? Como tengo acá lo que son preguntas cerradas, I can answer in affirmative or negative form. So, for example, if it's going to be um, affirmative, si voy a responder de manera afirmativa, Sandra, how would you say it? Yes, the, can you read the, this information, please? He worked on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work all day at all. At all. Okay, thank you. Let's see the next question. Um, let me see. Abigail. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. Excellent. What about information questions? If you can see here with information questions, we need, uh, they are called more information. We cannot answer them just by saying yes or not. Las preguntas abiertas, yo no las puedo responder solamente diciendo sí o no, porque yo necesito más información. So we have, what did Rick do on Saturday? ¿Qué hizo Rick el sábado? Let's see, um, Jocelyn Larin, can you answer that question, please? Yes, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Me muté. He stayed at home and um, studied for a test. Excellent, thank you. And the next question, Stephanie, please. Okay, how did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Excellent. So, how are we going to make yes, no questions? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer las preguntas cerradas? With did? 
Okay, and then? So we have did plus. Mm -hmm. Subject plus. Okay, plus. Complement. Complement. Excellent. And how about information questions? WH question. question. Okay, then? Auxiliary did. Uh huh. The subject, subject, subject fair, fair, and complement. And complement. Okay, perfect. Remember that here the verb is going to be in its base form. Solamente recuerden que aquí el verbo regresa a su forma normal. Es decir, va a ir en presente, dicen algunos, o en su forma normal. Okay? ¿Por qué? Because I already have here the auxiliary. Okay? Any questions? Is that clear for you? Está claro, tienen dudas o preguntas? I I had a doubt. Okay, what is it? Uh, Tell me. Es que eh, siento que no me queda claro en qué momento eh, queda en el verbo en presente, hablando del pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en qué momento, como ahorita lo estamos viendo, eh, el verbo queda en pasado. Vaya. El, el Vaya. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tenemos lo siguiente. El did no solamente es un auxiliar, sino que también es un verbo. Como verbo significa hice. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Tengo aquí la primera oración. Yo hice mi tarea. Ella hizo su tarea. Nosotros hicimos nuestra tarea. So, uh -huh. I can say, I, bueno, ya tenemos ahí, I did my homework. Uh -huh. We did our homework. Uh -huh. Okay, they did their homework. Okay, aquí tengo yo lo que son oraciones afirmativas. Es decir, que cuando yo estoy haciendo oraciones afirmativas, voy a utilizar el verbo en pasado. Ahora bien, si yo quiero hacer esas oraciones afirmativas en negativas, Voy a utilizar lo que es el auxiliar didn't, que en este caso sería we didn't. Sí, sí, sí. Y necesito lo que es el verbo, pero ya en su forma normal. ¿Cuál es el presente del did? Do. Do, ok. We didn't do our homework. Ok. Tengo acá esta otra que sería they didn't do their homework, ok? Si usted se da cuenta, el did no solamente es un auxiliar, sino que también es un verbo. Ahora bien, si esta misma oración yo la quiero hacer de forma interrogativa, ¿cómo comenzaría? What? Oh, we did, 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 we, did, okay. did we? Did our homework. Necesito el verbo. Did we do? Ah. Uh -huh. Ok. Perfect. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cómo nos quedaría entonces la segunda? Did they do? Ok. Did they do? They do their homework. homework. Their homework. Ok. Vaya, aquí les he puesto este ejemplo, ¿verdad? Donde tengo lo que es el did que está actuando como verbo y de igual manera lo tengo actuando como auxiliar, pero como yo tengo lo que es el auxiliar negativo e interrogativo, el verbo tiene que regresar a su forma normal, que en este caso es el do. No puedo decir we didn't did, porque eso es in incorrecto. Igualmente, yo no puedo decir we didn't our homework, porque dejaría la oración incompleta. Nosotros no, nuestra tarea, pero nosotros no qué, 
no la hicimos, no la entregamos, no la olvidamos, no la imprimimos, etc. Siempre necesito lo que es un verbo. Ahora bien, con la segunda, la tercera oración que tengo, I work on the weekend. Si yo quiero hacer esa misma oración de manera negativa, ¿cómo me quedaría? I didn't. Ok, I didn't. Do. ¿Por qué do? Uh, sí, porque okay. el, work. Uh, ah, bueno, sí, perdón. Work. On the weekend. On the weekend. Mm -hmm. Ok, veamos la siguiente. La que tenemos de Edwin. Edwin. Didn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Play. Oops, sorry. Play. Soccer. Soccer. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, then we have Lily. Lily. Go. Didn't. Did, did. Uh -huh. didn't. Didn't. Go. Excellent. Uh, one event. Okay, mm -hmm. and the last one. Um, Douglas. Didn't. Work. Oops, sorry. Didn't, didn't work, work late. late. Vaya, si se da cuenta acá, tengo lo que es el didn't, lo cual hace que el verbo se modifique. Ok, uh -huh. ya no digo didn't work porque es incorrecto o didn't played porque igual no se puede. O porque el auxiliar no está siendo pasado. ¿verdad? Excelente. Ya el auxiliar uh -huh. nos está diciendo a nosotros que está en pasado y aparte de ello nos está diciendo que es negativo. Negativo. Ok, perfecto. Ahora, las mismas oraciones. Veamos. No, no, sigamos con la de Stephanie. Si yo quiero hacer esa oración en forma interrogativa, me quedaría... Did Ajá. Stephanie. Oops, sorry. Did Stephanie. Quiero ver. Stephanie. Visit. Ajá. Her uncle. Excellent. Y signo de interrogación al final. Um, let's see. The one about Jocelyn. Did Jocelyn. Have... Ajá. Did Jocelyn have. had or have? Uh, have. Have, uh -huh. have, okay. Oops. An English class. Okay. And the last one, Monica. ¿Cómo quedaría la de ella? Ok. Did Monica. Did Monica go, go to the finca? Go to... Uh -huh, go to the finca. San Ernesto, etc. San Ernesto. Ok. Vaya, si se da cuenta, acá tengo lo que son oraciones afirmativas. De este lado tengo lo que son negativas. E igualmente tengo interrogativas. So if I'm going to ask the first question, did Stephanie visit her ankle? Respuesta afirmativa. Yes, I did. Yes, she did. I did. Yes, she did. In negative? No, I didn't. No, she didn't. I or she? She. She. She, she, she didn't. didn't. She. Okay, excellent. Yes. Did Jocelyn have an English class? Yes, yes. she did. She did. Yes, she did. Or? Yes, she did. No, no, she didn't. Okay, excellent. Did Monica go to the Finca San Ernesto to eat with her family? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Or? No, she didn't. Did we do our homework? I'm here on this question. Did we do our homework? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Or? Yes, we didn't. Okay, or no, we didn't. Excellent. 
preguntas hasta acá? Sí, yo tengo una. Veamos. Eh, en la primera, donde es didn't do, Ajá. solamente para decir, eh, digamos, no hizo o no hice, sí se va a poner didn't do. Correcto. Al contrario, el do no va a ir. Si es eh, no, por decirlo, no la entregué, no voy a poner do. Ok, perfecto. Vaya, si yo estoy diciendo que yo no hice o estoy usando el verbo hacer, sí necesito usar lo que es el do. Tanto de forma negativa e interrogativa. Ok, de manera afirmativa voy a usar el did, pero el did no actúa como auxiliar, sino como el verbo principal, ¿ok? No, sí, pero lo que le pregunto, vaya, en vez de decir, yo no, o nosotros no hicimos, sino nosotros no entregamos, que es una palabra diferente, siempre sería el do. No, si nosotros no entregamos, we didn't hand in our homework. Sería este verbo. Es que el Sí, el dúo es una acción. En este caso sería hacer, pero si nosotros no le entregamos, we didn't, y tengo este verbo, hand been our homework. Ahora bien, si yo quiero decir que no olvidamos la tarea, we didn't forget our homework. ¿Ok? Si yo estoy usando cualquier otro verbo que no sea hacer, aquí lo voy a agregar, ¿verdad? Siempre que sea relacionado a la tarea. Nosotros no olvidamos nuestra tarea. Nosotros no entregamos nuestra tarea. ¿Qué más? We didn't uh, print our homework. No imprimimos nuestra tarea. O sea, no solamente va a ser el do, sino que puede ir cualquier otro verbo. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. You're welcome. ¿Otra pregunta? No. no. Are you sure? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Sincera. Uh, okay, yeah. Honestly, for me, this is an easy topic. Para mí, yo siento que es un tema fácil, ¿verdad? But let me just see here. Let me share this information. Por mi parte ya me quedó mucho más claro, mis gracias. Ok, excelente. You're welcome. Vaya, tengo esta presentación, ¿verdad? Que es acerca del pasado simple. Y solo así como para un review. So you can see here. I have it just with regular verbs. La tengo solo con los verbos regulares. You can see that we have affirmative statements. Tenemos las oraciones afirmativas. I bake a cake. He or she played with me. It poked open, they cried at the end of the movie. By, aquí el verbo ustedes se los pueden cambiar, ¿verdad? Pero siempre va a ir en pasado simple, ¿verdad? Porque es una oración afirmativa. Sea regular o irregular, va a ir en pasado. So, for example, you can tell me, I wrote a letter. Escribí una carta. ¿Ok? With negative statements, we're going to have The subject plus did not or didn't and the verb in its base form, ¿ok? Cuando yo estoy utilizando lo que es el did not o el didn't, yo ya sé que el verbo regresa a su forma normal. So we have I did not bake a cake or I didn't bake a cake. He didn't play with me y así sucesivamente. There are certain rules, hay ciertas reglas, ¿verdad?, con los verbos regulares que ya nos las podemos, ¿verdad?, que generalmente dice que para el pasado de los verbos regulares o de la mayoría de verbos regulares, lo único que hacemos es agregarle de o ed. So we have bake and play plus d or ed equals bake and played. And then we have that to form the simple pass of some regular verbs that end in a vowel plus consonant, we're going to double the last consonant and add ed. 
Si yo tengo verbos regulares que terminan en una vocal más consonante, duplico la última consonante y agrego ed. So I have pop and hop. Como si ustedes ven acá, permítanme. Ok. I have a vowel plus consonant, vowel plus consonant. I'm going to double the last consonant and then I'm going to add ed. Duplico la última consonante y agrego ed. So pop becomes popped. And hop becomes hopped. ¿Hasta ahí está claro? Yes. 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 Okay. And the last one that we have is that to form the simple past tense of verbs that end in a consonant plus y, we change the y to i and add ed. Si tengo un verbo que termina en consonante más y, elimino la y y la agrego, le agrego lo que es una i más ed. So cry becomes cried and cry becomes tried. ¿Ok? Hasta acá. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. No. Ok. Y esto es lo que estábamos viendo. Sorry. Y, uh, teacher, ¿es uh, no question o no has? O uh, to, to uh, answer is válidas. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time, please? Okay, uh, the question, uh, preguntaba que si es eh, al momento de decir no questions o no has, que si las dos son válidas o cuál sería la correcta. Uh, okay, no questions. Vale, si yo les pregunto, no is there any question? Um, denme un segundo. So I'm going to share this with you right now, and I'm going to erase here. Okay, most of the time, I'm going to ask, is there any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Yes, there is, or no, there isn't. Do you have questions? Yes? Yes, I have. Yes, I have a question. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Or? No, I, I don't. I don't. Okay. What if I ask, is everything clear? Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Yes, it is. Or yes, it is. No. no. Excellent. No. Vaya. Si ustedes se dan cuenta acá, aquí estoy haciendo una. Bueno, estoy haciendo preguntas cerradas. Is there any question? Hay alguna pregunta? Yes, there is. O no, there isn't. Estoy usando el mismo auxiliar que usé para preguntar. ¿Ok? Do you have questions? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Estoy usando el do para la pregunta y para responder. De igual manera estoy usando lo que es el do, ya sea afirmativo o negativo. Acá estoy usando lo que es el verbo to be. Is everything clear? Yes. It is, or no, it isn't. ¿Ok? Pero, ¿qué pasa si les pregunto? Can you dance? ¿Pueden bailar? Yes. Yes, I can. Ajá, uh -huh. or? No, I can. Excellent. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, el auxiliar que yo estoy usando para preguntar es el mismo que estoy usando para responder. Ok, so, is there any question? 
¿Alguna pregunta? No. No, there isn't. Ok, ¿is everything clear? Yes. yes, it is. Ah, perfect. Ok, ¿me di a entender? Yes. yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Clear. Perfect. ¿Alguna otra pregunta antes de continuar o de despedirnos? Porque ya es hora prácticamente. It's time. Yes, it's time. I did no. my I did my homework, uh, but I had a little problem. Problem. Uh, for example, in unit one, in the exercise eleven, one point eleven. Okay. It's about how good, how long, how often, and how well. Uh -huh. I do. Uh -huh, but. Um, I think I am good, but no sé, me parece mala, como que si no la he hecho bien. Eleven. No sé si ya me equivoco. Yeah, sorry. No, yo creo que la mayoría tuvo problemas con esta. Créame porque varios me han preguntado. So let's wait. Okay, here is it. Ok. Um, era la última, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Uh, on this one, estamos hablando de lo que es digital. How well can you type? ¿Qué sí, tan... así la tengo. ¿Así la tiene? Sí. Y siempre se la está lanzando y como siempre mala. Siempre me sale como mala. ¿En serio? Sí. Um, vaya. Puede estar en computadora o en el teléfono. Computadora. Pero si gusta, yo le tomo captura de pantalla y se la mando. Sí, porque de igual manera me comentaba Saúl que él ha tenido problemas con un listening. Y ahorita lo que es soporte técnico está súper ocupado porque hemos estado ahí mandándoles algunos mensajes, ¿verdad? por otras situaciones, entonces están contestando por orden de llegada. Vaya, entonces vamos a dar lo que es la retroalimentación acerca de esta pregunta, ¿verdad? La número cuatro y de igual manera acerca del audio que, con el que han tenido problemas, ¿verdad? Pero también tuve problemas en la unidad dos porque ya terminé hasta la unidad tres. Ajá. En la unidad dos, el ejercicio once también. En las negativas, de, por lo menos en la 4 sí, y en la 6. Ok. Teacher. Sí. Este, yo no he tenido ningún problema, ya lo terminé. Y me parece que son los puntos y los espacios los que hay que verificar. En la, la que está diciendo la compañera. Ajá, yo verifiqué puntos, espacios, eh, apóstrofes, pero no. No, no llevan apóstrofes. Ajá, lo hice con, sin y nada. Igual va. Ajá, no, yo no he tenido ningún problema. Vaya, entonces hagamos eso. Le toma captura, me las envía y así yo estoy enviando lo que es la retroalimentación en estos días, ¿verdad? Y de igual manera, ya cuando se le haya dado solución, yo les estaría avisando. Ah, bueno, está bien, muchas gracias. A ustedes, ¿alguna otra duda o problema ahí con la plataforma? En el caso mío, teacher, este, en el que yo ya terminé hasta la, lo, lo último del, del examen, eh, pero no me habilita este todavía el certificado. ¿Ha llegado a, al examen de mitad de curso final. o ya el final? El final. El final. Vaya, déjenme sí. ver. Y excelente, me parece que perfecto que ya, ya haya terminado todo, ¿verdad? Déjenme consultar sí. eso también. Ok. Sí, a ver qué Gracias. es lo que está pasando. Sí, no se preocupen. Si no les contesto al instante, ¿verdad? Es porque todavía no he recibido respuesta de soporte técnico y estoy ahí a la expectativa. ¿Ok? Ok. Muchas Pero, gracias. A ustedes. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? 
No. Ok, bueno, si no hay más preguntas, nos quedamos hasta acá y nos veríamos hasta el día lunes, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, Bye. have a nice weekend. Good night, take care. Likewise. Thank you.